Let's start this video off with a pick me up um, of Arizona Sweet Tea. And if you heard an awkward silence for half a second, that's because I stood there at the ready until it start recording. Sorry about that awkward silence. Um, absolutely delicious. Let's do this. Um, let me get my strip script up because this sponsorship. It's really convoluted, and you'll see what I'm talking about in the next 10 seconds. This video was sponsored by Raid Shadow Legendary Monsters. That's exactly what I was going to say. Not a double negative, not a double trickery. Totally 100% not an overly convoluted way of saying Hercules is now fighting Hydras. People who raid the shadows for legendary monsters like Hercules sponsored this video because, um, that stuff? That, let's call it stuff, because... It's a lot of stuff. It was created around 500 BC, and therefore in the free domain, my script just had a stroke. Um, goes on for another page in absolute gibberish. Okay, let's skip back on track. With Raid Shadow Legendary Monsters, you can read the epic poem of the Hydra. I just found this picture online. Or you can figure out that three doggo heads are better than one. If you go into the link in the description and you're one of the first five quadrillion people to click the link in the description, you will get five um, three-headed doggos, two infinite head snakes, and a partridge in a pear tree. Also, you will have every single day that you come to raid shadow legendary monsters. Can't say the actual one or I'll get sued. But sharing a picture is totally legal and fine. I talked to my lawyer. If you go every day for 30 days straight, Every single day, you'll get new rewards, like one molecule of air on the first day, then three molecules of air on the fifth day. Fun, right? Fun. Okay, cool. Let's start the video. What's up, everybody? My name is the Superior Master, and welcome back to another video. If I sound hyperactive, it's just because I drunk an entire bottle of sweet tea. I've done so many takes of this, it's actually kind of depressing. Anyways. Today I'm talking to you about a bet, you know what, I'm not going to even talk about what type of bet it is. You read the title, hopefully you saw the thumbnail, if I made it. Let's get on with this. So me and Anime Wilson, this is a picture I found by searching Anime Wilson. I know Wilson watches this videos, which is the exact reason I put this here instead of his YouTube logo. So me and Anime Wilson, before I show you the next slide, we made a bet about a certain anime. It's just a certain one. Probably put it in the thumbnail, hopefully I didn't. It's just a certain anime. Before I show you, remember, we were both making the bet, and you'll see as the story goes on, that's more him choosing the anime than me, okay? Got that out of the way? Oh my god, the horror! Okay, so, a certain anime, you know, I'm not gonna even look at it, get that filth out of here. A certain anime, a certain anime, that shall not be named, you just saw it, I'm so sorry, that basically he came up to me and said, I bet I can out cringe. And I was like, oh yeah? Keep in mind, I am the cringe master. If there is a level for cringe, I am over 9,000. See, I just did it right there. Click the i-card right there to go watch three minutes of pure cringe, aka creepypasta. So, as soon as he said, I think I can out-cringe you, I was like, go on. You've made a foolish mistake trying to out-cringe the cringe master. If this video gets 10 likes, I will change my name to the Cringe Master for an entire day. Just kidding, I won't do that. I am not that self-deprecating to myself. Anyways, so I was like, go on, and he said, okay, I've got this anime for you. And as soon as he said it, oh god, this is not gonna be PG. You surprised me, it's PG-13. Okay, so, he said, I've got this anime for you. I bet that you can't watch the entire thing. Before you get up and leave, like, no, screw this, I'm done, I can't do this anymore. I bet you can't do that. And I just remembered, he could have chose any anime to try to out-cringe me, but he chose a furry anime in specific, which I'm not sure if that's better or worse, because... Okay, let's get back on topic. So, basically, he said, if you win the bet and can watch the entire anime, just bear to watch the entire first season of the anime... Then I will watch the first two episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh! Long story, hopefully I explain it in the second part. I already filmed that, but I do not remember anything. Um, but if you can't, if you cannot watch it, and you get up and leave in pure terror and cringe, I, personally, will write a script for you that you can then edit to make sure it's PG, where you have to review all the memes that I choose of BNA, and make a review about BNA. 
Oh my god. Ow. This hurts. Remember we made the agreement at 3 a.m.? We made this bet at 3 a.m., so makes no sense. That is why. Okay? So you want to know what happens? We already did this, like, we did this in April, now it's October, time has no meaning. You want to know the outcome? We tied. You want to know how we tied? I will tell you. So, on the last episode, what's the, I can't, I'm not going to be blunt. I'm going to beat around the bush. Um, so in the last episode, there's a certain, um, musical, you know what, screw this, there's not a certain musical performance. A cat lady gets on the stage and starts screaming Japanese K-pop lyrics. And I couldn't take it anymore. I was mentally broken. I just turned off the audio and stood there in disbelief as... Um... Or what I can only assume is a raccoon lady grabs a shooting weapon and aims it at a wolf guy. I watched Soul Eater. I watched, like, the first 30 episodes of Soul Eater. And this didn't make sense to me. I was confused out of my mind. And Soul Eater has a moon with teeth. How do you even get that? Anyways, so, Wilson saw this as a sign of weakness and decided that I lost the bet because, you know, I turned off the audio in the last five minutes because I couldn't take it anymore. I said, well, you see, you didn't say the audio and because of shenanigans, I technically won. So we came to the agreement that we both have to suffer. So, he doesn't have to watch the first two episodes, he only has to watch the first episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> Trust me, that's gonna be fun. Probably not perfectly PG, maybe PG-13 or 14. And I have to read the script. I, well, I mean, it's the better of the two evils. I mean, like, either I had to do the meme review or I had to do the script review. I went with the script review because, trust me, and... Any anime ream review will get not PG very quickly. So yeah, that's what's going to happen. You know, when this horrible, horrible trash fire that I have magically put into my computer and smashed onto the internet, you know when it's going to come out? You want to know? No? Well, too bad you clicked on the video. It's coming out this Saturday. By that, I mean tomorrow if I time my videos correctly, around the same time that all my other videos come out, 4 p.m. MST. It basically means, if you know who I am, it's probably coming out when it's 4 p.m. for you. Unless you live in Pennsylvania or Korea. Huh. Okay, let's put it this way. It comes out 6 p.m. EST on a Saturday. Cool? Cool. As you see the title, it's part one of three. The first part is this one where I'm explaining to you what torture, I mean, um, content, content is going down tomorrow. That's the second part. The third part is us talking about, hey, Wilson, how'd you like Yu-Gi-Oh? Screw you, Maurice. Why would you do that to me? Okay, cool. That was a reenactment of what's going to come eventually. Cool? Cool. So, yeah, that's it. That's the video. I'm done filming. Physically in pain now. I think I'm getting PTSD flashbacks from that. Um, so watch out for them, creepers. Stay away from lava and keep your diamonds close to you, my friend. This has been Warp Dice Production, which is coming out later this October. Superior out. Now I have to wait 20, no, until 8.41. I think 8.41 is a good time. There we go. Now an end card. Can